Xenesis, I hate you. I have done this map with S-Ranks two times. I can't do it a third. I... I don't know what you did to the AI to make it act like this, but it is just... Oh. And, and 15 turns. How do you expect me to beat Rivals AC in 15 turns? Do you know what your Do you know what this map is? It's Rivals AC from Advanced Wars 1. You know, you, you know the thing about Advanced Campaign is that... Uh, I'll say it as many times as I need to. In Advanced Campaign, the game only cared about speed. It didn't care about power, it didn't care about technique, it didn't care about anything but speed. Now, when you go to Advanced Wars 2, which cares about power and technique, and has one of the most random AIs I've ever seen, what do you get when you put Rivals AC in Advanced Wars 2? What do you get? Tell me, Genesis, what do you get? I'll tell you what you get. You get the most impossible, unbelievably random map I have ever seen. These B copters, when they start out here, they don't move the way I want them to every time. In theory, if you do the same thing on every playthrough, then the computer will react in the same way. It's not random. It's not random. And yet, these these B copters. For whatever reason, even if they move the way you want them to, like I did just like they did just now. That's AI manipulation right there. Even if they move like this. There's a small chance Colon's missiles and anti-airs can't kill them in one hit. That one's dead. That one's dead, thankfully. There's only one way you can attack like that with this formation. If you get unlucky with that B-copter, you you've gotta reset. Congratulations, you've created a luck-based map. Apparently your testers couldn't get that into their thick heads. Freaking Wars World News. It, uh. When you guys set out to create, like, a, a really hard Advanced Wars challenge, did you guys not consider that normal people need to have fun playing it? Like, work with me here! The, it, it, oh. I, I'm so flustered about this map, I don't even know what to do. What am I doing right now? Do I, uh, what do I build? Do I build that? Yeah, I built that. Then I build, like, uh, I don't know. Okay, so, Eagle's Lightning Drive gives his air units 80% defense. Yeah, that was a smart move too, Xenesis, giving... Eagle Wayland COP and then letting him use it anywhere even though Days of Ruins game mechanics are far more rewarding when you get your CO powers than in this game. Like, ugh. So I have to get him to waste lightning drive on a turn when I can't attack anything anyways. And now I get, I have to set up for the bombers because like I have to set up for the bombers here, because there's no way to, like, the only way to not get one hit killed by an eagle bomber in this situation is if you're sitting on a property. So yeah, that's another smart move. Victory depends on how lucky I am with the bombers. Are they going to, are they going to, like, attack the, oh, I don't know, I'll just play and Uh, I'll win eventually, right? That's what you were thinking. All we have to do is make a stupidly hard map. They'll beat it eventually. What am I doing here? I've got a gold rush. I can gold rush, so I should. Yeah, that works. That's one good thing the 
the port can do. It can shield ground units. The airport can shield ground units, and it's an airport. Ah, so we're basically guaranteed to lose a couple of units here. Oh, that is lucky. The anti-air lived on one hit point. I guess the gold rush timing was very good. Oh yeah, and this bridge? Completely stopped by the mech, which is the one time Xenus' Xenon takes pity on you. We've really, really gotta get rid of these bombers now. It didn't take any damage. It's... I, I want to join the 1 HP unit so that it doesn't... WHAT?! Moving on! Just move that out of the way. Okay! This should work. How much you want to bet he's expecting a lightning strike this turn? Or... Well, is expecting a lightning strike. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, goody! That bomber looks like it's retreating! Ain't that wonderful. I guess the bomber retreating is better than it, like... ...being able to do more damage. I could totally live with that. There, everything is going fine. We should be totally okay now. My head hurts so much from playing this. Why would you do this? Okay, now he's got a lightning strike. But, if we're lucky... I don't know what's... Oh, that's beautiful! That is the most beautiful thing ever! So now, when he lightning strikes, his units won't be able to move at all because the AI got lucky. Well, I got lucky, because the AI farted. That's the only way you can beat most of these maps, is to make the AI fart, or to get lucky. That's not good game design. Oh no, this is not good. Oh no! If the Neo Tank just sits there, I can't do anything. I'll never be able to capture the HQ if the- if the- Oh, it's out of range. Hey, Zenesis, I'm not gonna be able to capture the HQ if the Neotank just sits there. Oh, what's that? You didn't think it would happen like that? Of course you didn't. Hey, I've got a lot of money, though, so maybe that'll be good. Wow, 43,000 is actually quite a bit, but now that all of the fighters are gone, the T-Copter can now begin its run. If I wind up creating, like, uh, a turn-by-turn -turn for this map, I, I guess that would be a service to humanity, because nobody should ever have to go through this. NOBODY! Uh, 
And that's good. We've successfully created a choke point. Maybe I should leave some of those alive for when I destroy units for power, because you need to destroy six whole units. I have no idea. Well, I, I know how that happens. Well, why don't we just let them... Is that miss off? Like two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, this run is turning out better than I expected. Actually, let's move these up here. We're gonna still need the missile because the bomber's gonna come back eventually, but... We should be okay. I need to destroy that Neotank because it's not going to move. I don't know why this happens, but the Neotank just decides that it doesn't want to... <clears throat> no, that's not good. Okay, I can still get in its range. Let's attack that while we're at it. There we go, that's fine. How did that missile even get onto that island anyways? There's no shoals, there's no port. Not enough money. Unless I do that. I think I may have found a turn-by-turn -turn strategy for Colin on this map, assuming it works. Now we wait for the bombers to catch up, because we've got to get those units out of the way. And at this point, I think a fighter would be a good idea. I don't need much more in the way of units. So that bomber is going to think twice before it moves towards me anyhow, due to the fighter's wide range. See, it didn't move that far. Alright, the medium tank is running away, which is probably okay. Because those rockets aren't going to get any closer with the way I've set everything up. Wait a second. Okay. Okay, he gets a lightning drive, but it's worthless with no air in it, aside from a two-hit point bomber, which is probably going to fly back to the airport anyways. Yep. Oh, come on! You put the recon on the HQ. You're not supposed to be smart. You're an Advance Wars AI.
How many turns do we have left? Look at how much... I, I can't do anything! I can't do anything with him building like this! I only have... There's only two units I can use to like, destroy stuff. Okay, let's bring the third bomber in. I guess I'll build another bomber. I don't think this one can reach anything before... before it, like... Maybe he'll just move the units off the HQ or something, or move them away. Although the recon's at 8 health, I doubt it'll run. Okay, it moved off, that's a start. The tank's going away. No, you stupid artillery! Don't do that! How many units do you have? What turn is it? I have to drop the thing now. It ha I have to drop it now, or else I can't win. What a sick map this is. Even with three bombers, I'm still... Like, anything could still happen, but I think I'll destroy all of the enemy units now. Because for some crazy reason, you need... Six enemy units destroyed, which I evidently got. So if the artillery moves off, and the Neo-Tank decides to attack, it's game over. But since it's in a repairing state, I don't think it will. Also, depending on what he builds, it might also be game over, because I don't think he's built a single air unit yet. I don't know if that's a problem with the map AI, because I know something about how the AI works. He built nothing. Oh my god, I win! I win! Take that, Xenesis! I beat your stinking challenge! <sighs> it is over. It does not matter what happens now, it is over. I don't care anymore. You can lightning drive all you want. There, that's Old Wounds, the hardest map in the game, Rivals AC, whatever. I had to try it 30 billion times. Xenesis, I hope you are happy, you crazy, crazy... person. Ugh. I know it says zero days remaining, and... Oh, now he builds the anti-airs, that's... very interesting. It says zero days remaining, but it's definitely an S rank. Woo, woo, colon wins. That's the only way I have ever seen to beat that map. And that is... I got lucky in every respect. That's amazing. That is a crazy level, sure. If you want to have this insane, really hard final boss of Advance Wars, which it basically is, I guess... But yeah, that, 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 that really, really crossed the line of difficulty. Please don't do a map like that ever again. So Xenesis figured players would lose about 90% of their marbles playing Old Wounds, so he decided to throw in a pretty easy map afterwards to compensate. 
Frostbite is not hard in the slightest, and for some reason does not involve Olaf, even though it's called Frostbite. But whatever. Is that even how you spell bite? B-I-G-H-T... whatever. So this map is completely broken. Um, when I originally got an S rank on this map, I used Colin, thinking that only he could do it, but it turns out... I, I believe any CO can do it, but I'm using Hawk here. And after I got that S rank with Sonya earlier, I figured, hey, it might be possible for me to play at least one map with every CO in the game, except the bosses. Because, you know, you can, you, you can only use the bosses after getting an S rank on that particular map. So, I for a Let's Play, I don't think there would be much point in showing a playthrough with the bosses, since most players would have to S rank a map first in order to be able to use a boss. Like, that's what they need help with, basically. If they're looking up this LP for help. So, with this strategy I'm using, Colin can have a, a Neo tank instead of a tank in that first lander because he has the money for it, but anybody can get a tank in infantry with a lander in the amount of time that I'm doing so here. Hey! Both COs in this map have a port, and they just blew all their money on landers. Level broken. Yeah. And that's not even the most hilarious part, either. As we can see right here, APC moves off the HQ, leaves it completely vulnerable to a capture. If I were playing as Sammy, that would basically be it for Adder, but it's basically it for him with Hawk as well. Because I know it looks like the tank is going to damage the infantry and make a capture impossible here, but just watch. Infantry gets attacked and only has six hit points, which means if I join the infantry and they don't take more than like six hit points of damage, then I have captured Adder's HQ. And I realize that there is an artillery there, but this is what the tanks are for. Now I'm not sure if those two tanks can destroy the artillery as anyone who does not have a boost to their tanks. That is something that I will have to look into in the future. But it works perfectly for Hawks, so for the time being, it's good enough. And I think I'll build the rest of the units we're going to need. It doesn't really matter what Adder does here. There's nothing but the tank that can attack the infantry. This is disgraceful. That just leaves dealing with Max, and uh, Max has a couple issues of his own, but we'll see. So that's them dealt with, and now we have like a ton of money for completing the rest of the map with, and we have plenty of time left on the clock as well. Technique, I'm pretty sure I can do no casualties, but... Now that I've said it, I'm probably I've probably jinxed myself. But we'll see. So that just leaves power. And if I have this right, this is the first map in the game, I think, to have multiple enemy COs, and I think the way power works in this situation is if there's multiple enemy COs, then the game will only count the units destroyed against one of the two teams, whichever you have a higher like, it keeps track of your power score against both COs, like, individually. Like, I've destroyed just one of Adder's units in a single turn. But, um, if I were to destroy more of Max's units in a single turn, then... Then my power score would only be counted for Max and not Adder. Like, you know... 
you know, me trying to explain it is probably just going to lead to more confusion than anything else, so just watch the rest of the map. Also, Max built that medium tank, but it's not going to do a good job guarding the HQ if it's several miles away. And if we wait long enough, it will be several miles away, and this is just the perfect drop-off point for all of your units. So I'll build some big stuff here, since I have the money for it, and let the lander come back and take them. I could build a lander now, actually. I'll do that. Also, Max built rockets. Does this make any sense to you? Sure doesn't to me. Okay, a B-copter, that's slightly better. Also note, the recon sitting here is going to block the HQ, so that the infantry can't capture it. Isn't that a drag? This just keeps getting better and better. I believe it's safe to drop the infantry now. Although, actually, that D-copter has been worried, but we've got an anti-air on the way. And the B-copter's not even going in that direction, so it's like... I think this map is ultimately just too big for the AI to be able to... Well, I just thought of another problem. Oh, yeah, Max built missiles. I don't have any air units, etc., etc. You get the picture. The only foreseeable problem at this point is... He has... I think I need three units destroyed in a single turn for the best power score, so... We're gonna need to work on that a little bit. If this nails the APC, then I think I'm safe. And it did. That's two, and that's three. Okay, we're good. I don't think he can build nearly enough to save himself. Also, now you know how power works for multi-CO maps, because I just demonstrated it. So there you go. Map over. Wait. Oh, I forgot about the anti-air. Right. Okay, so we're still... Like, I think we're still in the clear here. He's going to just keep building missiles. I don't understand. I think we're still in the clear here. Because it's not like this can, uh, it's not like any more units can attack us. I didn't see the, uh, anti-air, so I didn't, I didn't think it, I didn't think it would mean anything. Let's just keep building those neo-tanks like nobody's business. And even at 3 HP. It'll just take a couple more turns to... Hmm... Will this do anything? No, it won't. It's really a waste of time. Unless that boosts the 1 HP anti- Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Not working. Hey! I know what I should build! ANOTHER MISSILE! What is going on here? Well, the good thing is that gave me enough to use my CO power. And since it's Hawk, that means he recovers the hit point I lost, which saves me a turn. So 
so on the next turn I'll win, unless he does something very strange. I wonder if the Recon will be smart enough to move off the HQ. Nope, thought not. And that is that. I think I actually beat my score for colon. It's definitely 300. Well said, Hawk. No, it's a tie with colon. Good enough. Ladies and gentlemen, I've done it! I've found a map that not only can you play as Adder and get an S rank pretty consistently, but you can also break the entire map with a mere two mechs. Yes, two mechs is all it takes to bring Snow Day crashing down. Coincidentally, Snow Day has nothing to do with Olaf either. Funny how that works. Yes, so we're going to play this map, and we're going to crush the... Uh, buildings of Yellow Comet with only two mechs. I wonder how that's going to work. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that Sony is the enemy CO, and therefore causes the entire map to be drenched in fog of war, thereby turning the advantage to us instead of the enemy, for once. And here is mech number one. He will be on his way to the Yellow Comet HQ, Maybe you can see how this is all going to play out already, but we'll see. It is only the beginning of the map, after all. Circumstances might change. There's mech number two. An interesting pair of COs they've chosen for this map, Sonya and Lash. Lash has an airport for some reason, and Sonya is the one stuck behind all of the heavy terrain. Hmm. Something seems to have gone wrong in their little plan. But who knows, maybe I'm just being a bit of a jokester. Maybe this map is harder than I realize. Or maybe, maybe somebody messed up when they were making it. And I can only hype this up for so long, so we'll have to wait for the mechs to get to the HQ before we move on to explaining how badly designed the map is. Of course, this is a lot easier if you're playing as Sammy for reasons that should be obvious by now. Also, I hear an APC. Somebody's trying to cross the river. Let's prevent that, shall we? Doesn't look like there's anything over there at all. But looks can be deceiving. I just realized I have nothing to see what is on this city. There we have our first enemy. And yes, by hiding in that forest, the enemy will not see my attempted capture coming from a mile away. They already don't care about the mysterious mechs crossing over the mountains. But now, now, they're in deep trouble. I'll be in deep trouble if I keep just showing off all of my infantry. Darn shame Sonya's only other map had to be crushed so easily. By Adder, no less. It's not Adder in particular that you have to worry about, but hey. Oh, what's this? Only a single mech? That's not good at all. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh-oh, I think I'm gonna lose an infantry now. Yeah, I'm gonna lose an infantry. Oh well, that's no big deal. There will be plenty more where that came from. Oh, it only brought me down to seven hit points. Well, that's not good. Sonya, you've got an uphill battle ahead of you because now... If you don't bring the mech down to two HP or less, it is game over. <laughs> and thus, Snow Day was broken for all eternity. Come on, you guys, you can make tougher maps than this. You made old wounds. And bank robbery. And bombardier. Surely this isn't the. Oh, I didn't even lose. Did I even. I didn't even lose the infantry because the infantry always goes for the capture instead of actually attacking. Now we're able to build bee copters as well, so this just got a whole lot worse for them. Let's see if Sonya can do it! No, she has not! The, the mech has survived with enough of HP to capture by the skin of its teeth! <laughs> And game over. Oh, of course, we still have Lash to deal with, but that's just a formality. And we have all this money to work with now. Congratulations, Wars World News. Eh. Oh. There's the fog gone now. And now to begin our relentless assaults. This is almost insulting how easy it's going to be. Of course, I can't reach that tank quite yet. That's annoying. Aw, oh, it lived on one hit point. Isn't that cute? Dead! <laughs> ah. Feels so nice to let it all go after suffering through old wounds. There's n there's this isn't even a fight anymore. There's hardly anything left in Lash's army. This is probably a little more risky than it needs to be because the mech is going to be able to attack something. But will it kill anything? Probably not. I think I'm actually going to get a route here instead of an HQ capture. What? The mech's not even attacking there! What? Is she just giving up? Now, I suppose I should point out that, contrary to how it seems, the strategy that I just employed will not always work. There's a chance Sonya will get very lucky and her AI will not poop. But in that case, you just reset the map. It's not like you had to do much work to get up to that point. <laughs> Lash doesn't like me at all. Well, I guess I am no fun. After all, I did just... I did just break the map. That's not very much fun. What, you want me to do it the quote-unquote legit way? After old wounds, I... Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, well. Oh, no, that wasn't a mistake, actually. <laughs> Thank you. 
Maybe I should use Adder's Super CO power for fun. I don't have any um, anti-air, so that T-Copter might be a little resilient. Is that even the right word? I don't care. <laughs> look, how much m look at all of this money. Of course, as they say, money is very important. If you don't have it, your units will rust, and you can't fight without your units. I guess unless your name is Sammy or something. Oh, I can make it without the superpower. <laughs> Mission complete. What a crazy map. Crazy broken. What did you expect? I know. What was the time? Wow, that's two better than my personal best. That's two days below my personal best. So much fun. So much brokenness.